Imagine having throbbing, debilitating migraine headaches every day for three years straight. And to make matters worse, you're 15 years old. Well, this was Emily's unfortunate reality that she shared with us last season. Let's uh, have a reminder. About the middle of fifth grade is when Emily started getting migraines. It just throbs. I can't concentrate with it. Earlier this year, we discovered the Reed procedure. We actually saw Dr. Reed on the doctors who invented the procedure. She went down for the trial. We were very happily surprised when she had no head pain. I felt really happy that they were just gone. We immediately applied for the permanent procedure. And at the very last minute, the very last minute, she can't have it. <laughs> How much would something like this cost if you don't have insurance? For a permanent stimulator, it's on the order of fifty or $60,000. OK. But Emily, uh, we've got good news. I'm going to cover this. Emily met with Dr. Reed's team after the show for her Reed migraine procedure. We were there every step of the way. Let's have a look. With Emily, she was having such bad pain, she's almost been housebound. And so the goal is going to be to get her relief, get her back to her normal life. Today is a fresh start for our entire family to have this glimmer of hope. We're truly blessed. We're going to do the permanent implant today. And all we do is make a little incision just behind the hairline where we'll insert the lead. Here's the first electrode. And there's four contacts on this electrode. The leads are the electrodes that'll supply the, the stimulation over the peripheral nerve. That's what provides the relief. And so this is the little tunneling device that'll allow us to position the electrodes. We're gonna do the same thing on the left. The main nerves that supply sensation to your scalp is the nerve just above your eyebrow in the front, and then the occipital nerve in the back. By providing stimulation over those nerves, that's what we found provides them the best relief. So now we've finished putting in the frontal leads, so now we're gonna make the posterior incision. What we're gonna do is move this lead from this incision to that incision. So now we've got all four of the, the leads in position under the skin. So now we're gonna create the pocket for the battery. We've got the four leads that we've got from the scalp down to this spot. We're gonna tunnel over her shoulder to get down to the battery side. These are the final connections. We're gonna hook these up to the batteries and test it. So now what we're gonna do is irrigate and close all the incisions. Did it work? We'll check in with Emily when we return. We're with Emily and Dr. Kenneth Reed, who invented the procedure that you just saw. And the question is, Emily, how long has it been since the procedure? Almost a year now. And how are you doing? I'm doing great. It's fantastic. And as far as a year ago, after this procedure, Dr. Reed, how long until they start feeling better in general? In terms of recovery, within a day or so, people can travel back at work or at school within a week. And six weeks later, no restrictions. I mean, literally contact sports. We have baseball players, wow. gymnasts. So it's a, rel it's a serious procedure, relatively minor, and the recovery's uh, straightforward. For this particular procedure, who would be the best candidate? Okay. It is not for everybody with migraine headaches. This is a, obviously a surgical procedure. And like most surgeries, it's the last step in treatment. It's not the first step. So for the many people out there that have migraine headaches, even severe migraine headaches, well, most of them are going to their migraine specialist and receiving medications. And if they're doing well and it's working, then certainly they do not need this. This is for patients like Emily, who have gone to good, excellent headache specialists, had the treatment, it's not working. So the two criteria are frequent severe migraines, two or more a week, and that more standard therapy is not effective. You're basically living with severe migraines. Wow. Well, Sarah and Rodney as parents, what's her change been like? It's amazing. I mean, we have our daughter back. I mean, she's... Is it even hard to think back to how much she went through? Yeah, it is. But I mean, she's able to swim. 
We, we go to the gym together. We go to the grocery store. We go eat at restaurants. Um, she wears perfume. She eats chocolate. Um, we went on vacation. Uh, we just celebrated her sweet 16. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. I mean, those things sound maybe to some people like they're not, you know, so important or they're trivial or maybe not worth this type of really invasive procedure. But let's be clear, that speaks to your quality of life. Oh, and you are changer. so young, this literally is life changing. I'm so happy for you. Yeah. Thank you. And the takeaway here, we've said it many times before, anyone suffering with migraine headaches, if you're not getting the relief that you feel like you need, obviously, look into other options, look into other possibilities. We're just so happy you found the right one for you, Emily. Dr. Reed, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.